Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me. This is Jen Sheffer, and in this tutorial, we are going to look at how Google Meet is now integrated directly inside Google Classroom. And this is a best practice for sharing a link to a Google Meet with your students. Um, it avoids you having to send a link through email or Google Calendar, and it is a really safe and effective way um, to be sharing Google Meets with your students. For uh, remote learning. Um, so what you're going to do if you're a Google Classroom user is you're going to open up a classroom. So I have a BPS PD Google Classroom that I'm going to open. And you'll notice that there is right in the header the name of my class, a class code for the students to join, as well as now a meet link for the students to join. You'll notice also that there is an icon here that says this link is currently not visible to students. So we need to make the link visible to students and I'm gonna show you um, what it looks like from the student's end once we do that. So to make the link visible, what you'll do is you're going to go into your settings gear on the far right, you'll open that up and you will scroll down to the general section and at the very bottom of the general section, you'll see here that there is a button to toggle on the meet being visible to students. So we're going to turn that on. And now I'll show you from the student side what that's going to look like. This link right here now is going to be visible for students. If for whatever reason you needed to reset the link, you can go ahead and click on it and hit reset. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save those changes. And if I look in my student account, now I'm signed in as a student. There's nothing here in um, on the header indicating um, I have the ability to join a Google Meet. But what I'm going to do is, I didn't even have to refresh the page. Um, the changes in my teacher account just uh, became visible on my student account. So you can see here that Meet link is now live for my student to click on. So previously what we had to do before this update as teachers, you'll notice I made an announcement here. I instructed students to go to meet.google.com and I created a meeting code, uh, which was Sheffer, and the students did that. So this is another way for students to join a Google Meet, but they all they have to do is just simply click on this link. It's a built-in feature. Um, and what you'll do as a teacher when um, you're not hosting a Google Meet is you'll just go back to the settings gear and you will turn that setting off so that the link to join the Google Meet is no longer visible. And then you'll save your changes. And then when students sign into their Google Classroom, <clears throat> it's gonna refresh pardon me, it'll refresh and you'll notice that that link to join the Google Meet is no longer visible. So you're only going to turn it on when you want your students to join the Google Meet. You will join the Meet first and then you will wait until all the students have left the meeting. Then you will end the meeting and just don't forget to go back into settings and turn the link off so that it is no longer visible to students. So again, this is a best practice for virtual meetings with students. Um, it is the safest method. It's very simple. It's built right in. It um, allows you to streamline your uh, communication process and your video conferencing with your kids. And I hope this tutorial has been helpful. Please don't hesitate to reach out to me or any member of the BPS EdTech team if you have additional questions or need additional support with any and all of our technology here in Burlington. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.